Welcome to this video. Did you know that operating systems like Linux, Windows, and Mac OS are written in C? And C for us is used by developers to create video games in Unity? For that, in this video in just a few minutes, we'll see how with Termux you can code, compile, and run these language right on your Android. That was easy. Step 1. Install required packages C, C++, C, Quest, Vim. Termux is a powerful tool for developers. If you don't already have it, I highly recommend downloading it from fdroid.com. Then open and update it. PKG update and in PKG upgrade. Why? Once that's done, let's see how to install C and C++. These languages use the same tool to run their programs. A special tool called GCC or Clang. To install it, type PKG, install Clang, Y. Quick tip, the Y option automatically answers yes to any prompts. Great. Now let's move on to CIRT. CIRT uses a tool called Mono. Install it by typing PKG install Mono, lie. Finally, we will need a code editor. My favorite is Vim. To install it, enter this command pkg install vim. If you'd like to learn how to use vim, let me know in the comments. It's honestly better than VS Code. Step 2. Run C, C++, and C programs. If you're already familiar with C, C++, or C R, feel free to skip this step. Let's see how to edit and run scripts for these programming languages. Create a new folder for more organization, mkdir language. Move into this directory, CD Clanguage. How to running a C program. First, create a C file, vlike.c. The goal of this video isn't to teach these languages, so you may just copy and paste the following code into the files. Now, how do you exit Vim? Don't panic. Just press ESC, then type WQ. Next, compile the C script. Don't worry, it's very simple. Just type clang then the file name. O then a name without extension. The compiled script is an executable. You can run it just like any Linux executable. Dot slash then the file name. Congratulations. You've successfully run a C script without errors. Perfect! How about C++ now? The process for C++ is similar. Create a file with a .cpp extension, viscript.cpp. Add the following code. Save the file, then compile it with Clang, but C++ use Clang++ instead to compile. Finally, run the script, doccore script. How to run C Sharp program? For C, there's a little difference. Create a C or script with the .cs extension. Copy and paste this code into the file. When you're done, compile the C script with MCS command. Hit compile it into a .exe file. To run it, use mono. Nice. 
But what happens? MCS compiles the sharp.cs file into a CIL, common intermediate language, binary. Mono interprets the sharp.exe file and executes it in a runtime environment. If you followed along this far, you're a true champion. I hope you enjoyed this content. Don't forget to like and click subscribe. For any errors, bugs, or feedback, feel free to let me know in the comments. See you in the next video.